Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for this lighting here. I know this is not the best lighting, but uh, this is what I have. So sorry about that. So the topic for today is what is burnout and what to do when you feel burned out. So it's obvious I'm feeling pretty burned out recently from not just work, from just life in general, like work, family, kids, parents, and just like family stuff in general. I'm just burned out from living <laughs> in general. And if you have been there, basically what burnout feels like is essentially, I would describe it as in a very negative uh, state of mind. So basically, I just feel like I cannot do anything more. I cannot take in anything else. I cannot get anything done. When it comes to work, I feel very little motivated. I just don't feel very motivated to do my work. And I just simply just feel like I can't deliver. I can't keep, keep outputting anything. I can't output anything else. I'm pretty much, I feel so full. I just feel like my brain is so full of stuff that I cannot take in anything else and I cannot output anything else. So if you want me to do a new project, it's really difficult for me at this point to like learn more about that new project and then dig deep into what that project is and then deliver uh, whatever uh, output it is that, uh, uh, that I'm asked to from that specific project. So I'm at that stage where I just feel like my brain is so full that I cannot um, take anything else. And when it comes to family, basically I just feel so impatient with a lot of things and I get angry so easily. And when it comes to just life in general, I just feel like I'm so behind on a lot of things. And every day I wake up, it's just like, it's a world that I don't want to wake up in. Maybe I, I'm a little depressed right now. I don't know. But basically that's how it feels like. I just feel so less so not motivated to live my everyday life whether it's work or family or with kids or anything I'm just so not motivated to live in my life I just feel like I wouldn't say I want to die necessarily but I definitely feel like I'm not in a very positive state of mind and I take a lot of things negatively and I just get so down I cannot focus on a lot of things and it's definitely a bad state uh, to be in Basically, you there's no way you pr produce high quality work uh, in a state of mind. There's uh, people around you will not be pleasant, um, whether it's kids or pets or a partner. It's not a good state. So, I've been in the state of mind maybe for about a week or so. Like so, at this stage, my mood really fluctuates a lot, day by day or week by week, and it's getting very difficult for me to kind of. Um, I guess get myself to feel happy or to generally feel happy at any point at this age. I remember when I was younger, when I was single, if I, you know, uh, read a good book, that would make me really happy for some time. And if I did some really good work that got recognized by coworkers or your boss or managers, that would make me happy. And if I got some compliments or I got some gifts or had some good food or learned something new, all of this would make me happy for some time when I was younger. But at this age, so I am 30, I have two very little children, three and a half and a one and a half years old. And my partner is about four or five years older than me. So he is like 35 years old. At this age, nothing really makes me happy except I guess my children's um, happy faces. When they smile, that's the only thing that will make me happy for that moment. But I would say nothing else would make me happy. Okay, not to mention there's no time for movies or food or eating out at this time. There's no time for that at all. So it's either like work or babysit and there's no other time for anything else. But um, I just want to say at this age, it's very difficult to, I guess, please myself. I just won't feel happy. So I would consider myself as being in stage of the burnout right now. And if you are feeling the same, you're probably feeling burnout as well. And you don't need to, I guess, do a lot of things to feel burnout. It's more like a state of mind. Maybe it's a little bit close to depression or like it's like one step away from the de depression. 
But I think that's a very common state of mind to be in when you start working and when you reach middle life or like when you have kids, basically a lot of things going on and a lot of pressure coming from all fronts and maybe your life is just not going where you want it to be. That would be the stage of uh, burnout. And I tend to find myself in this state of mind quite often, at least several times a year, uh, I would say. But this video is not about all that negative stuff. This video is about positive things, right? How do we lift ourselves up, right? How do we handle this when you are aware that oh, I'm in this burnout stage? What do you do to change things for the better? That's what this video is about, right? So I have list up a few things that work for me when I feel burnt out. And I hope this will work for you as well and that you will get out of this negative state of mind sooner than later. Life will go on, right? So why why don't us just be happy about it? Easy to say, hard to do, I know. So apparently first thing that you should do when, you're, when you feel burnt out is to um, take a rest, is to basically rest up, uh, either sleep, um, catch up on sleep or catch up on exercise, all of this. And apparently that's what a lot of people here may say, right? Just uh, take a break, just rest up when you feel burnt out, right? But that's not always uh, even doable, right? It's not always possible to do. For example, for mothers like us who have very young children, it's just not possible to get rid of those kids, <laughs> right? In the blink of an eye, it's just not possible. And I understand um, for those of you that have family members nearby that can help things out, that's like really awesome. But for people like me, I don't have my family around. So I don't have anyone that can help me out other than hiring babysitters every once in a while to help out. And those are expensive, right? $30 an hour for two kids, something like that. So it's definitely very pricey to hire outside help for uh, you know, with kids. So it's not always possible. Therefore, the list of things that I proposed here are like in addition to, let's say you just simply cannot rest. You simply cannot take a break, right? Then what do you do when you feel burnout, when you cannot take a break from the burnout, right? So the first item that I have uh, on my list is to try your best to find some alone time. I know, like alone time. What is that? Basically, I guess, when you become a parent, when you get married, you will find yourself never alone. <laughs> There's always someone around you. Be it, When you're at work, you are surrounded by co-workers. When you're at home, you're surrounded by kids, your partner. You are never alone, basically. But you might feel so lonely in, deep in your heart. You're alone, but you may feel so lonely. So a first suggestion that has worked for me is to find some alone time. So what I do is, Instead of working from home, I try to work from a new place, like library or like not coffee shop, no, too loud, too noisy, but basically just like a new quiet place that is just me so that I'm not surrounded by my partner and I'm not in the same kind of environment. That has worked for me to find some alone time. Basically, I get to have some conversation with myself and just take a close look at where I am and why I am feeling the way I am and just having that conversation with yourself and make a chance like make have that opportunity to have that conversation with yourself by putting yourself in a new and alone uh, environment without anyone else I think that is a good point to start with but that does not always work Right. So in the case that does not work, I have the second point listed down here is to try to take some time off, but just like you don't have to take days or weeks off to take a vacation or something, but just like as quick as 10, 20 minutes. Right. I wouldn't say it's like taking time off, but it's it's more just like take a quick break. break. It's not always possible to take time off, but it's it's a lot more possible if you're just taking 20 minute break, right? Lunch break or like bathroom break or like, you know, getting some 20 minute break, 15 minute break and just you relax entirely for that 20 minutes. Do not do anything. Do not think about anything. Do not get all of those 
things in your mind and just like take that, hopefully take that 20 minute break. Take out a walk, get some fresh air. I think that would help a little bit for me at least to manage through that day. And the third point, this one I always tell myself and my friends to do is really, instead of feeling so burnt out about things, just write them down. And instead of looking at the overwhelming list of things that's on your plate, just write all of them down that is bothering you. And I really just like look at one thing at a time on that list. That will help a lot with getting things down instead.